One of the real pioneers in the computer game business is Roberta Williams. She and her husband Ken wrote their first game, I guess it was 15 years ago now. Mm -hmm. And they keep on pushing the edge with every new game. Roberta's newest game is called Phantasmagoria. And I tell you, I must, I must tell you, I love this game. I think it's the great interface for a role-playing game. I really feel like I'm inside the game. Show it, tell us, first of all, what's the story of the game so we can set it up? Okay, you play the role of Adrian Delaney, who you can see standing there. And uh, her and her husband have just moved into this kind of old haunted house that mm -hmm. was owned by a magician over a hundred years before. So there's a lot of weird stuff goes on Yes, in there's house. an evil in this house, and, and, and it has taken over her husband at this point. All right, so we've jumped ahead way near the end of the game. We're yes. into Chapter 7. It's a mm -hmm. seven-CD game, right? That's right. And uh, she she now knows that her husband is possessed by this, by this evil uh -huh. entity, and she wants to get out of there. So um, I can uh, direct her to leave. But at the beginning of Chapter 7, the house is also being taken over by this evil. So she tries to leave what? and the house and it won't let her open go. the doors. That's right. It is locked her in. And again, what happens is, I mean, this, things change during the course of the game. Obviously, something that goes on in the room at one point, the room may act differently later on in the game, huh? That's right. And you can also go out and explore the island, the surrounding mm -hmm. island, and there's a town and shops and townspeople that you can meet. And it's a huge house, too. Lots of floors and lots of rooms. And Secret under, passages yeah, yeah. and hidden rooms. All right, so what is she doing now? Well, now she uh, she has a hammer in her inventory, um, and this is one of the few places in the game where she's sort of decided on her own. Yeah, normally we would have said, oh, let's take the hammer and try to break the glass right. to get out of the house. But in this case, um, for plot reasons, she's yeah. going to try to break the glass. She can't get out. We wanted to make that obvious to the player. So she um, knows something's bad, going, right. bad is going to happen now in this so story. So I'm going to cut this short a little bit so we can uh, see a little bit more. Um, you take her upstairs, and we're going to meet her husband. Because okay. uh, I just happen to know where her husband is, you just is hiding to out, how you know. and we can see how crazy he has really okay. become. Can we do the disc swap here so we get to the next? Not CD? yet. Okay. Almost. I'm gonna hurry her up. If you hit the fast forward uh -huh. here, you can you can hurry her up the stairs. Otherwise, you get to watch her walk. Okay, so she's going into the room where her yes. husband is, yes. and, and he used to be the nice guy, and he's sort of been transformed in the game to the evil guy now. Yes. Oh, he was a very nice guy at the yeah. beginning of the game, I and mean, he was a normal husband, <laughs> and, you know, very loving, but he has thought he's totally snapped at this point, and he is really out to kill her. While, while this is loading up, let me just ask you a second. I mean, as, as a game programmer, I mean, what's the next step? I mean, you keep on pushing and pushing, the stuff gets better and better. What's, your, what's the thing you'd like to be able to do next? Well, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, is try to do a, an adventure game with all uh, a 3D moving world, uh -huh. a total 3D simulated moving world, yeah. um, but third person. I'm going to see if I can do that. Wow, that'd and that's going to be the next thing. I'm okay, what's happening here? Roberta? Well, here I'm going to fast forward because we don't really have time. What I want to do is uh, start the chase. The husband has come in and met her. Um, he's crazy. He's going to kill her. Now at this point, the game goes very quickly, and you have 10 seconds to make your choices. Here is a bottle of uh, sulfuric acid that you happen to know is there. Mm -hmm. You have to grab it. So I clicked on it. She's going to grab it now, toss it in his face. Big secret to how to, how to yes. beat him at the end of the game. Yes, here, huh? and you better get out of there. Okay. And we have 10 second increments now um, where we can run and uh, make choices. And if you make the wrong choice, then he's going to yeah. get her. So and this is just the wee tip of the iceberg of this game. There's been all kinds of stuff that's going on before this, so oh, yeah. just a little hint of it. This is just the very end of the game. So she's running, and if you stop at any point and, and dilly-dally around, he's going to get her. Again. 